Mumbai, the city of dreams, but beneath its glamorous facade lies a world of crime and intrigue. Today, we delve into the gripping true story of a man who became a legend in the Mumbai underworld, Chota Rajan. Hey there, welcome back to the most infamous, the channel where we dive into the craziest stories from around the world. Our story begins in the narrow lanes of Mumbai, where Chota Rajan, originally named Rajendra Sadashiv Nikalje, grew up. Born into poverty, he soon realized that the only way out was through the dark alleyways of crime. Rajan's rise to power was swift. From small-time crimes to becoming a trusted lieutenant, he quickly climbed the ranks of the underworld, earning the nickname Chota Rajan, or Little Rajan. As Chota Rajan's influence grew, so did his criminal empire. He became a force to be reckoned with, challenging the dominance of the infamous D Company led by Dawood Ibrahim. Rajan was Dawood right-hand man for a long time. From 1984 to 1993, Chota Rajan and Dawood Ibrahim together ruled Mumbai's underworld. They were considered a powerful combination. In 1993, after the serial blasts of Mumbai, their friendship broke, and there was a split between Dawood and Rajan. After the split, Rajan made his separate gang, and the gang wars between the two groups exploded. The Mumbai underworld was divided, and a deadly rivalry ensued. It was a battle for supremacy, with the city caught in the crossfire. Noticing Rajan's growing popularity, Dawood created a plan to kill him. He sent a man named Chota Shaquille to assassinate him while Rajan was attending a party in a hotel in Bangkok, Thailand. However, before Shaquille could reach the venue, Rajan got the information and ran away from there to save his life. In retaliation, Chota Rajan shot dead two of Dawood's associates, Vinod and Sunil Soans in Mumbai in 2001. Two years later, he killed Sharad, who was the chief finance manager and money laundering agent of Dawood Ibrahim at the India Club in Dubai. Rajan was prosecuted in 2015 for 70 counts of murder for illegally importing and exporting drugs followed by extortion. It is reported that Rajan escaped prison and headed towards a country in the Gulf. In the end, Rajan's own actions lead law enforcement to arrest him as he had given away his identity. He was deported to India after being captured by the Indonesian police. He continues to remain in prison, and a follow-up report stated that Dawood Ibrahim has made another attempt on Rajan's life. As we reflect on the tale of Chota Rajan, we are reminded that the underbelly of a city can harbor stories that are both fascinating and chilling. Join us next time as we uncover more untold stories from around the world. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until then, stay curious, stay safe.